Hello, this is Nia with the Rainbow Cauldron, and today is March 12th, 2014. The moon is waxing and in Leo. Um, so the first card that I put down will be from the Druid Animal Oracle deck, and it will represent the general theme or feeling throughout the day. And uh, the four cards surrounding it will be from the uh, Wildwood Tarot deck and will represent morning, noon, early evening, and nighttime. Okay, so the first card we have is the seal. And let me adjust the lighting in here a little bit because it's a little. Whew. There we go. Okay, so the seal, um, the seal is a very tender card, and um, it's it's a card that uh, it. it it's very sensitive and very um, aware of uh, both the bad and the good in a situation. And we see that with the cloudiness over here, but also the sunny rainbow energy over here. And, um, and also in the, in the fact that, that the seal is spotted. So the seal is very aware of um, uh, good and, the good and bad in things. And uh, see, it's, the seal sees both sides of a situation and it's, it, it always sort of feels uh, a bit of, in a bit of a dilemma because of this. But, um, but it's, it's also, the seal also represents a sense of pure loving energy. And even though it, um, the seal feels kind of conflicted or, um, in a sort of dilemma because he, he he can see both sides of the situation. He's very calm about it. It's a sense of um, not so much anxiety about uh, the dilemma, but there's a sort of calming energy to it, and um, and and an underlying feeling of love, of loving energy, and that's um, that's what we have today for the seal. And the cards surrounding it are, um, first is three of stones. I wrote three of earth on here. And then, this is a pretty cool card. Look at those roots coming from her feet. And then we have uh, the nine of air, or nine of uh, air arrows. Um, okay. Which is diff interesting because it looks very different from the uh, Nine of Swords and other decks. And I, I think the book gave it a sort of different meaning. But uh, uh, my meaning is sort of a combination of the two. And then we have um, the Queen of Fire. And this is a really uh, interesting, like, deep colors sort of card. Like, I like how dark it is, but also very majestic and and uh, hopeful and uh, yeah it's it's a little hard to see in this uh, again I'm gonna have to adjust the lighting there we go bring up some brightness here and just you know I, I just really like the deep colors in this card it's almost mysterious looking you know and finally we have the goddess um, and this was actually called the the green woman but I wrote the goddess down here, and this is, in traditional decks, this is the empress. Okay. Okay, and I'm just bringing down the brightness a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, um, we're starting off the day with the three of earth, three of pentacles in traditional decks. And um, this is a, a card that has to do with um, really a sense of connectedness, because look how... I mean, she's literally connected to the earth um, through the roots there. A sense of connectedness, and it has to do with um, connecting to your um, environment or or a project or situation that you've uh, set in motion. And um, using your senses, and you notice how she's really, she's touching these, these uh, uh, stone, uh, not monoliths, but uh, trilithes, trilithes, trilithons, I think that, that's a word, um, 
she's she's touch she's literally touching the the earth and that to me has a uh has a meaning of using um your senses to really get a creative inspiration as to the next move the next uh step and that's the feeling that i get from that card and then we move on to um the three of I mean, I'm sorry, that was the three. This is the nine of air, the nine of uh, arrows or swords in traditional decks. And um, like I said, that this card, uh, the meaning that this card had in the book is very different from the traditional meaning of this card. And the imagery is also very different. Um, this, this card is um, in traditional uh uh, tarot decks, the Nine of Swords is a card that really has to do a lot with uh, worrying and uh, um, and kind of, it's I kind of think of it as sort of a a bad dreams card or uh, almost a, a nightmare sort of card. Um, I'm trying to find the image on my phone here to show. This is the traditional. Uh, card. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's very, it, the imagery is very different here. This is the Galaxy Tarot de uh, app, by the way, and this is an Android. So just in case you wanted to know. Um, so, um, oh goodness, it got really bright in here all of a sudden. Okay. Um, so it, since this card is so different looking, I, I looked in the book to to really um, see how they interpreted this card. And it, it talked a lot about how um, she's using this bow and arrow in, in an incorrect way. She's imagining that it's kind of um, a, a musical instrument because she's kind of using it like a harp, you know. And there's all these arrows flying away from her. And I think the the book, if I remember correctly, um, it had to do with, uh, oh, I, I think the word they used was dedication, which I felt was, it just, that, that didn't fit right for this. Um, I feel like this card uh, is really talking about overthinking something, and that's really kind of combining this this imagery with uh, the traditional card uh, imagery and um, it really has to do with a um, a sense of just overthinking things and uh, worrying about it and you know I mean she's using this um, bow in a in a completely different way and I, I kind of imagine that she's um, thinking about different ways to use it you know <laughs> but Obviously, she's kind of like overthinking it, and I feel like she's kind of got this, um, with her eyes closed, she's really it, it, thinking about this, and there's arrows flying all around her, and I, I, I almost feel like it's sort of a, uh, um, uh, um, what, I, you know, I can't, the phrase that I was just thinking just left my head, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and I, I really just got a sense of overthinking, worrying, um, you know, and a sense that she needs to kind of take a step back from the situation and actually see what's going on here. You know what I mean? And that's what I get from that. And then we move on to this card, the Queen of Earth. I love the colors in this deck. It, it's such a dark card, but like it doesn't, it's not, I don't know. It, it looks like it's supposed to be scary, but it's, the this rabbit here is so majestic and so um, uh, almost courageous looking that it, it doesn't feel scary to me. It feels very um, like protected, you know? And this is the queen of bows, the queen of fire here. Um, Queen of Wands and traditional decks, and I kind of see this as a sort of um, helping hand uh, during um, this time of overthinking things. And here's someone who's coming in and just kind of lending a helping hand. And it's it's someone who's um, 
um, courageous and wise, very witty, um, and driven. And like, look how driven this hair is. Um, and uh, she's, she or he, I mean, queen doesn't necessarily mean female. Um, but uh, she or he is it's someone who's very kind and uh, and really gives strength and a sense of um, uh, that confidence, you know, that sort of feeling. Okay, so let's put that right there. Um, all right, so the last card here is the goddess or the green woman. And this is pretty cool. Deck. It's very similar to the, the god card. I mean, it, you're, you could almost confuse the two. I have the god card right here, the green man and the green woman. They're so close to each other. And let's see. There we go. And the green woman has a lot to do with uh, um, really a, a sense of, you know, since this is nighttime, I feel like it's, it's going to bed with uh, a sense of fulfillment and um, feeling nurtured, uh, especially from this queen of fire here. And um, just, you know, feeling relaxed and feeling uh, accomplished that, uh, uh, and the, the empress, that's what this um, in traditional decks is, number three, um, she has a lot to do with abundance and fertility and um, that's one thing I, I kind of noticed, too, is that today these cards are all very, very feminine. Uh, even the seal is very feminine, even though I was calling him he. Um, it, like, there's the woman here, a woman here, the hair is a queen, um, we got the goddess. So it's a, a lot of um, feminine energy and a sort of nurturing sort of energy today. And... Um, uh, and that's what I, I feel like the day, the, the, the note, the ending note of the day is just a sense of abundance and um, uh, nurturing. And I, I also, you know, since the, the empress or the goddess has a lot to do with fertility, it's funny to have the hair here, which is quite, you know, um, a, a symbol for fertility. So um, if, if you today might be something that is relevant to you if you have someone in your life who is pregnant or um, it, or if you're a mother or a parent. Um, that sort of energy too is something that's emphasized today. So okay, so here we, that's the, um, that's today's reading. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.